This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we turn to an explosive new report that claims the U.S. government has secretly targeted Bolivian President Evo Morales with a drug sting code named Operation Naked King. The report, just released by The Huffington Post today, draws on court documents filed by a longtime DEA confidential informant, Carlos Toro. It appears to confirm Morales's long-standing suspicion that the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA, has sought to undermine Morales's government. In 2008, Morales expelled the DEA from Bolivia, accusing the agency of bribing police officers, violating human rights, covering up murders and destroying infrastructure. Morales then embarked on his own strategy of combating drug trafficking by working cooperatively with coca growers to diversify crops and promote alternative development. His the government's efforts were largely effective. The United Nations announced last month the cultivation of coca leaf in Bolivia has fallen to a 13-year low. Despite that victory, the DEA announced this week plans to officially decertify Bolivia, a bureaucratic move that would cost Bolivia financial assistance and amounts to an accusation by the DEA that Bolivia is not sufficiently cooperative in combating drug trafficking. For more, we're joined by two guests in Washington, D.C. Nick Wing is with us, a reporter at The Huffington Post, who just broke this story, called Operation Naked King, U.S. Secretly Targeted Bolivia's Evo Morales and Drug Sting. And from Cochabamba, Bolivia, we're joined by Democracy Now! video stream by Catherine Lediber, director of Andean Information Network. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Nick Wing, lay out what you learned. Well, uh, we learned through the the complaint filed by Carlos Toro, uh, that there are a number of sealed indictments against officials who are either connected to or actually in the uh, top ranks of, of the administration, uh, of the Morales administration. And uh, we don't know a whole lot ex exactly about what the evidence uh, against these individuals is, but we do know that there was enough to secure these indictments. And um, we have also known for a while that uh, the U.S. is interested in trying to connect the Morales administration to uh, cocaine trafficking. Uh, I, I would point out that the previous two of the previous uh, drug czars for Bolivia have been implicated in in sort of the top ranks of of some sort of uh, drug trafficking scandals, and uh, it's been known for a while that that members of the military, and, and particularly the police, have also been involved in this. So, so we're not exactly sure what the evidence against these individuals uh, is or what the status of this case is right now, but we do know that there was enough to get a sealed indictment against them. Now, the president himself, Evo Morales, is a former coca grower. Um, can you talk about what the U.S.'s motives are? Um, and what their relationship with Morales has been? I would say, I mean, the answer to that question definitely depends on, on whom you ask. Uh, Morales, for a long time, has, has accused the DEA of really uh, being an arm for sort of Western imperialism and colonialism and, and being in the country, really, to undermine his leadership and undermine his, his uh, role and his role as someone who is trying to uh, cut down uh, the growth of coca in, in Bolivia. So he would say that this is an effort, I'm, I'm guessing that he would say this is an effort to, to further undermine him and to, to try to link his administration uh, to, to a cocaine trafficking ring, which then they could use to say that not only is his, uh, are his efforts to cut down production ineffective, but they're also corrupt. Um, now, I'm guessing the DEA would say this is just an honest effort to take uh, cocaine off of the global marketplace. But there would probably be a big disagreement there between the two of them. In 2010, <clears throat> Democracy Now! broadcast from the World People's Conference on Climate Change in Cochabamba, Bolivia. We spoke to the Bolivian president, Evo Morales, for an hour about how the U.S. is combating drug trafficking. Listen carefully. And I continue to be convinced que la cocaína, that cocaine la and Unidos, drug trafficking is an invention of the United States. Bajo ese invento, and with that invention, crear esa guerra contra el they have been able to create this war against drug trafficking. El capitalismo vive de las guerras. Capitalism lives from war. 
El capitalismo necesita guerras Capitalism needs wars para vender su armamento. In order to sell its weaponry. Entonces, eso no es un tema aislado so, de las cintas de drogas, sino es un que viene issue. los intereses del capitalismo. It goes to the very of capitalism. Y su pretexto de lucha contra el narcotráfico, bases militares. Fighting drugs, they establish military es un control bases. político, un dominio, un sometimiento. Control es el nuevo colonialismo. Domination that they want. It's the new colonialism. That's President Morales speaking to Democracy Now! You can watch the whole hour at democracynow.org. But I wanted to bring in Catherine Lederberg, right there in Cochabamba, director of the Andean Information Network. Can you respond to learning that the DEA is targeting President Morales with this sting operation, even the name of this operation, Operation Naked King? Catherine. Well, I think the DEA is uh, well known for bizarre operation names. And I think this is a very interesting revelation in many senses. One, there were a lot of uh, Morales complaints and administration complaints about inappropriate activities of the DEA, of going beyond their mission, of uh, and levels of entrapment or political involvement, and that were really dismissed by U.S. officials at the time of the DEA expulsion. And what we see now is that there was a DEA operation in course when, in fact, the DEA had absolutely no authorization to operate in the country. It, I think it's an important time for us to all reevaluate uh, criticisms of the DEA, and there have been many, but specifically within Bolivia, and criticisms of U.S. drug policy, and, and look at these revelations, and look at what really needs to be changed dramatically. And what does it mean uh, for the U.S. to go after Morales in this way? What will it mean uh, in Bolivia? Well, I, I think there's going to be a great uh, deal of frustration. I don't think there's going to be a lot of surprise. There were uh, there have been. Um, in the international press, hints of this over the past five or six years. And so I don't think anybody's going to be surprised. I don't think this is going to do anything to improve bilateral re relations. There have been a series of uh, failed attempts to do so. But I really hope that this is a point in time where the U.S. can realize that there's not oversight over the DEA and that U.S. drug policy in the case of Bolivia and in the Andes has failed.